Hello, my name is C, and I am a recording artist from Rwanda in Africa. You're listening to the best internet radio station in the USA with Jerry Royce Live and Positive Power 21. <laughs> Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. Hey, hey, what's up, family? What's going on? Welcome, welcome to Late Night, Late Night Radio, right here on Positive Power, the XI original podcast series. Right here on Spreaker Radio. You can catch us later on Spotify, iHeart, Google Play, and Apple Music, just to name a few. And don't forget about Pray.com. All right, yeah, we got a great show tonight. We got a great show tonight. We got a young lady who is doing it all. She has so much experience, and she's a, she's a, she can, she can inspire you to want more. You know, sometimes we get in our jobs, we get a little complacent. We just don't want to move forward because we happy. But God wants you to move forward. That's right. He put you on earth to receive. That's right. You put all that in it. Hey, get your gifts. All right. Well, let's talk to Kelly Holland real quick before we let Miss Sharita Marina in. What's going on, hey, Kelly hey, Holland? Hey, Batman. How hey. you doing? Hey, Baltimore. How is everybody? <laughs> We are awesome. Great, great week. Great week. Yeah. You good? I'm doing great. The weather's been nice. I've been productive. Um, so I'm just excited. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Yeah, it's been a great week. The weather has been awesome. Of course, we had a little rain today, but we needed to wash away some of that pollen because that pollen was oh, thick yeah. yesterday. Mm. Man, I was having some issues. Hey. Oh yeah, the allergies is kicking in. I'm scratching my throat all day. It yeah. was it was a mess. And that and, that, and look and I had my last pill <laughs> the day before, so I had to wake up without it. Yeah, it was tough. <laughs> Yeah, then my, and then my sister told me to come pick her up. I said, well, I gotta stop at the store first. She said, No, come get me first. Okay. I said, Okay, I'm gonna be this. yeah. Swing past uh, somebody's pharmacy before I'm no good to anybody. Uh, I'm gonna be sneezing all over her. <laughs> this is right, COVID season. <laughs> Don't forget, it's allergy and COVID season. And real quick, did you get, did you see the news break with Merlin <laughs> about the restaurants? No, what happened? Please, what happened there, man? The governor said that you that you don't need no mask to eat outside. Oh, <laughs> I heard that mess. It's like they're talking about the people that got vaccinated and then yeah. intermingle. Well, shoot, if if that's all it takes is my word, then I got vaccinated too. But yeah. I'm still going to wear my mask. Get out of here! I don't think that many people. <laughs> I don't think they know how many people live in the state. <laughs> that's the problem. That was ridiculous. I know the numbers stay kind of close to the, the population that they said. And I was like, I, don't, I know not that many people got the vaccine. Cause I know a whole bunch of people who, who don't even know where to get it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now people, my, <laughs> certain uh, facilities are making um, calls. It's not just spam likely now or the people trying to extend your car warranty. We're also getting calls about uh, COVID vaccine sites, and I, I don't know how to feel yeah, that's, that's, about all of this. That's stuff. ridiculous. You know, this this same thing happened in India. I think I guess he didn't read the reports in India. You know, they, they were looking good. Everything was looking mm-hmm. clear. The skies was clearing everybody. And what happened? They opened everything up. And because they have a heavy population of young people, so man, so they they had some super spread events. They had all those events where people were, you know, were going to pray. You know, they had a whole bunch of stuff going on. You know, around the, uh, right before the fall, and um, they in trouble right now. And the hospitals is in trouble. They need help from other countries. Wow. Yeah. They just, 
Yep, opened one of, up a little too soon. Yeah, yeah. One of my yeah. friends, um, one of my Facebook friends, and messaged me because um, she was going to help me, uh, you know, promote the puppets over India. And she said mm-hmm. they they got issues right now. She can't help. <laughs> like whoa, wow. yeah. And that was from her. You know, she's a huge ministry over there. And I was like, wow, they had to mm-hmm. shut it down. Ooh, <laughs> so 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 I guess he didn't see that because you know the county said they're not going to follow those orders. <laughs> Oh wait a minute! The city said all of this. But no, Baltimore County said they're not following oh, those orders. Yeah, they keeping. Yeah, Baltimore County, yeah, the Baltimore County. Is saying y'all tripping. Okay, because I was thinking Mayor Brandon Scott. He, he's he's been super cautious the whole way around. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He did a report. Like yeah, that. I missed mm-hmm. his his um, press conference today he because he was on two days in a row so i think he was addressing i think that he was talking a lot about what happened with the uh, sanitation workers you know being shot but i think he also was addressing um the state but you know it's, it's mostly the republican governors that that that's been doing a lot of that opening it up I and mean, i think texas got in trouble florida got in trouble it's like do they read do they read the news wire <laughs> i doubt it do they have a smartphone that's what i, I know a lot of them don't yeah, they just know how to make calls with it. <laughs> That's it. They just use it as a phone. <laughs> all right. Well, look, we, we talk about them rascals all day. It's time for us to bring out you know guests out. <laughs> What's up, Michelle Rita? How you doing? Welcome to Late Night. How you doing? You awake? I am wonderful and amazing. How are you? Good, good. You get your second cup of coffee or your fifth? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh, you don't drink coffee? Okay. You're a tea drinker? No. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I am a tea hot chocolate drinker. That's right. You can't drink oh, lasso. You can't You can't mix lasso, uh, lasso tea with coffee, I heard. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of people don't. don't even taste I know everybody doing lasso tea now. I, I got, I got to say that is some good stuff, man. I've been, I lost some weight. I came down from two o two to one ninety one, like two weeks. Hey, baby, you've been. Oh well, that's that's nice in two weeks. Yeah, my wife too. She been enough. she been drinking and she normally don't drink nothing. My friends, um, they do the iso tea. They they really love it. Yeah, they it's, really are looking good too. Yeah, it's a real deal. That stuff is the real mm-hmm. deal, man. The real deal, hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. I deal, I deal with one of my podcasts as uh, as our distributor. Um, I, you, I was okay. dealing with someone out in North Carolina, but it was it was taking a little too long for me to get. I can get the stuff real quick from her, but now I'm hearing at Walmart and I'm carrying it now and Amazon. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that was tripping. I thought Not that for the independent consultants. But yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> I was like, man, they just wiping the small man off the planet. You know, no. just. Just when the distributors did all the work, you know, putting it out there on Instagram. You seen all these people got mm-hmm. abs they and got stuff. Yeah. Right. They got picked up. On IG. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is jacked up, man. That, that coffee is pretty good, too, especially when it's when you put it on ice. Really good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I just shout out some free promo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The coffee's delicious. I got some samples from my distributor. All right, mm-hmm. ladies. Look, y'all have a great show. I am right here if you need me. And I can't wait to um, hear um, what Mr. Reed is going to share with the world. Have a good one, y'all. I'm so curious also. Thank you, Batman. And thank you again for joining us, Miss Mariner. I'm so glad you could be here with us on Positive Power Double XI. Late night with Jerry Royce Live and Kelly Holland. Please let our listeners know who you are, beautiful, and what it is that you do. Hi, my name is Charita Mariner. I am the CEO for CRJ Services Incorporated, where mm-hmm. fashion is my portion. I am really? your personal stylist. I am mm-hmm. your uh, private shopper, as well as your professional organizer. So if you're looking to get ready for the summer and clean out that closet, organize it, get some style in your life for you mm-hmm. or even your family, you want to book with me. Amen, amen for that. Um, honey, everybody could use some help with their style. I seen some yes. butt cheeks hanging out the other day. <laughs> I'm like, beautiful. You are so pretty. Why must right. we look at the bottom of your buttocks? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm I'm stuck on it like, oh, my gosh, she really out here like this. And, you know, you people right. watching, head turning. What, what, why she got her booty out? Like... <laughs> It's so many other things that you can do to be classy but still be trendy, right? To still mm-hmm. feel like you're in the fashion realm and you still have your own flair. You don't have to look like everybody else, but you definitely don't have to 
expose yourself. So okay. I'm very, I'm very transparent about those things that look great on you. Um, mm-hmm. I love to see women that are like in their closet. They're like, I have nothing in here. And I'm like, you just need to do a purge. We mm-hmm. don't need to do a like it or love it. I'm going to hold up every piece of clothing in this closet. If you like it, it goes in this pile. If you love it, we're going to hang it back on the hanger, the face hanger, organized by color, and that's what we're going to put back in your closet. The life pile, we can donate to CC's Closet, which is a retail boutique that I have, or we could donate it to um, to a local Goodwill or another thrift store because at Amen. the end of the day, you will never use it, and it becomes mm-hmm. clutter, and then you become a hoard, right? Or mm-hmm. I can help you repurpose your wardrobe. So even if it's something that you like, Maybe you just didn't know what to do with it, that you can help add to what you love, and I can help you piece that together. Um, so I, re- I really enjoy it. It's a passion that I have, and I do it for my friends. And it's so funny because I always go in their closets, and I'm like, okay, we need to, we need a purge. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> um, and, we, and we have fun doing it. I'm like, you know what? I, I really would love to do this as a business and really help others. My love language is acts of service, so I love helping others. So Amen. I really just feel like, yeah, in this season right now that we're in uh, with COVID and people now starting to get back out there. That was so, my very you know, next question. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Get back out there. They need mm-hmm. help with, you know, what to put on because the pounds have gotten on a little bit. There you, you go. Know, so I have to have some other choices. I need to help. You need to call me because I'm very honest on what looks good on you, but I'm also mm-hmm. very honest on what does not look good on you, right? Because I okay. think that's important, and you don't have people around you that could be very honest around that color. You can wear that color. I know you don't think you can wear orange, but orange is really good on you. It's mm-hmm. just wearing black all the time. All the time. The color, you know, pop mm-hmm. color in your wardrobe. Color looks great on skin complexions, all skin complexions, no matter what color. Color looks great on all skin complexions. We got to get out of this black season of death. I can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point there. You got a good yes. point there. Um, that was, I was really curious. How are you able to flourish in such a business with COVID? Um, I imagine your business is more mobile. And so yes. if that's the mm-hmm. case, yeah, how, how are you able to get your coins together um, considering all of the new safety procedures and precautions? Honey, rather? fantastic, fantastic question. So I am a traveling image consultant. So I do a lot of things online. So I do a lot of virtual. Uh, we do a Zoom. And I literally go through the closet on Zoom and mm-hmm. say, hey, all right, let's go. I'll put the camera in your closet. Stop right there. This first section, and we're going to deal with this first section right here pull it up do you like it do you love it and I do it um by the hour and Mm -hmm. all based on the assessment fee so I talk to them and I say hey what do you want to see do you want me to be a private shopper would you like me to be a personal stylist would you like me to do a professional organizer they're three different Mm -hmm. things right absolutely what they're yeah based on what they're looking for that's what I go after I'm not coming in to be a private shopper and you want me to be your closet um your professional organizer I get it. I'm going to focus on being a professional organizer. If you want me to help you style, then, okay, let's continue to talk. That's a different package. But I'm, I'm willing to do that, but I'm very specific on what the need is. What do you The service that you're offering. For? Right. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm offering, and this is what I can do for you, and then we can work through everything else. But a lot of it in the COVID season, it developed during COVID season, to be mm-hmm. honest with you. And Amen now that it's it. opening back up, um, God has really been faithful um, mm-hmm. to really get that business out there. So it's, it's a new business for me. And it's something that I was just passionate about and just put put it to work and say, hey, let's do this and let's impact some some lives and let's change some lives right now. Amen to that. And God is yeah. faithful during this period really of COVID. Is. Absolutely. Um, there's been a lot of transition for many of us. Um, and you either held on and made something out of nothing or you mm-hmm. fell victim. And prayerfully, if you fell victim, it was only for a moment, right? The, the general mm-hmm. person. And so it's great when you can dig deep, find a passion that you actually enjoy and yeah. transition that into an income um, that supports you, you know, significantly. And mm-hmm. then it really shows us 
how we really got the plan all wrong in the beginning. Um, and I'm going to admit to it. I thought I had to live my life a certain way, go through education, get the corporate job. Um, you'll move up the ladder X, Y, and Z. That didn't necessarily happen for this brown girl in that order. It took some type of catastrophe to come about for me to mm-hmm. pick myself up right. and to get there. What was your turning moment when you said, you know, traditional life isn't going to work. This is where I'm really going to flourish. Or were you always an entrepreneur? Girl, girl, that's a heavy question all in itself. And I appreciate it. Because let me tell you, I am that brown girl that had the corporate job and climbed mm-hmm. up the ladder. I worked for the number one retailer, Walmart, for over 13 years. Oh, I'm amen. Executive. And um, I went from Walmart to Target as an executive uh, for a three, and three years and three months. So I was in that corporate world where it was about climbing that ladder and I did have the seat at the table. I was in the boardroom and I was a decision maker and I was a, a game changer, a shift maker. And it just so happened one day, it just was not good enough anymore. Um, it was always sacrificing my family, my time, every my day. Profession, you know, every day. Mm-hmm. And it's retail, so weekends are non-existent. Uh, okay. Holidays, non-existent. You know, it's all about the retail life and really understanding what's important, especially during the COVID season when you see oh, over half a million people just dying, right? And yeah. you see people close to you, you know, not making it. And you see people losing their jobs and you see mm-hmm. people losing their homes and you see people just losing. And yeah. I'm like, God, it, it has to be a better way. How can we flourish? How can we be independent of always having to go and clock in? I'm not saying I'll never go back and clock in. That, I definitely don't want that message out there. That's <laughs> maybe something I go back into. But for now, in this season, I am an mm. entrepreneur. And I am, I am out here building my business. I didn't understand entrepreneurship. I didn't understand the value in it or the know-how. I wasn't brought up that way. I was Mm -hmm. brought up to go to college, get the degree, get the great job, have a career, or go to the military. That was your exactly coming up. It's not until now in the last few years where entrepreneurship is even something to talk about. An option. Investment. Yeah, in the like brown investing. community. Oh, yeah, yes, it's retirement. Like, like investing, <laughs> retirement, stocks mm-hmm. and bonds and trading. And we just did not come up in that realm. Our household didn't talk about that. We barely talked about check balances. Come on Okay. Now. You know, how to balance a checkbook. So now that I have a family and I've re- reared my own children, they're in a season where it's all about the investments, it's all about the stock, and it's about the trading, it's about entrepreneurship. They don't really want to go to college. They really just want to run their own business. They have great gifts and talents and creative ideas and abilities. So I find myself in this season with a shifted mindset on entrepreneurship based Mm -hmm. on different from what I knew 10, 15, 20 years ago. It just wasn't a part of my vocabulary. So now it's become a part of my vocabulary and I enjoy it. And I enjoy supporting small businesses. I'm an advocate for small business. I'm I'm an advocate for businesses, period. Uh, I do whatever I can to sow into businesses because I believe in the law of reciprocity, give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. I believe that the good measure pressed out, shaken together. Yes, I believe in all of that. And um, I want that return. So I give and I am a giver. Naturally, I teach it to my children. And it's so funny because my children say, mom, you never really talk to us about trading and investing in entrepreneurship. And I say, you know what? And I, I apologize for that, but I can't talk to you about something I don't know. Okay. I was ignorant to it. I did not know it. And it's not until now I'm learning it. And you're helping me learn it because it's something that you all are into. So we're learning together. You know, and there's your family. bond. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we're raising, we're raising ourselves together in this season through that. We're doing it together. My, I have a 28, he'll be 28 this year, and my oldest, his name is Charles, and they call him Clips in the rap world, the artist world. Okay. And I have a middle son named Robert. He will be 23 this year. Uh, he just landed a fantastic job. I'm so excited about that with CSX, and he's a veteran with the military army. And then my baby girl is at a historical black college and university at Norfolk State University, but the green and gold. And okay. she will be 20 this year, and she is going for an um, electrical engineering degree. 
So Come on, have, Black family. Yeah, yeah, they have that <laughs> schooling. She's an electrical engineer. My oldest graduated criminal justice with Liberty University. But I reared them in what I knew. In my middle was military. I knew college. I knew military. Mm-hmm. I knew career. I knew corporate. And that's what our family was about. And now it's shifting to my daughter still wants to get her paper with college, but she also is thinking of different businesses that she could do as well. And that's where it's moving to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm right there with you. Mm -hmm. I'm right there with you. Um, Mm -hmm. Outside of this, my nonprofit does financial literacy, workforce skill development and life skills. Um, And so I've run into uh, a different spectrum of people, um, mm-hmm. not so much goal oriented, but 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 yeah. want to be. And so that's mm-hmm. what I've learned is that just because someone is in a certain position doesn't mean they want to stay there and that their past is not their present. And so we try right. to transition those defeated thoughts into motivated actions. Um, and Absolutely. so I'm And so what I'm hearing from you right now is that the service that you offer is not just for fashion. It's also for helping others understand their potential. Dressing for success is absolutely important. Um, And it's also a um, a, a mental booster, um, if if you ask me. I know I feel real good when a dress fits. My body doing some stuff it don't normally do. I'm excited in this mirror real quick. (laughs) <laughs> is real. That okay. love language, when you can love yourself and love what you see in the mirror every day, you walk mm-hmm. differently, you talk differently, you show up differently. When you yes. can be intentional about the way you get ready in the morning, I tell my friends all the time, oh, I'm intentional when I get dressed every morning. I, I take be. time to think about what I'm putting on my body. And I mm-hmm. love doing that. And I want you to love that, regardless of the curves, the bumps, the straight, whatever it is you have on that body, it is your body, and you were made in the likeness and image, like me, likeness and image of God. And God Amen. does not make junk; He makes all things beautiful. Only okay. God can take the moon and make it full of hash. That's how God <laughs> made you. You know, He can have the sun rise and the sun set. That kind of God, He made you, so He, he can make things that beautiful. What makes you think you're not beautiful? It's in your Amen. mind. So let's go. Okay, we a motivational speaker too. Yes. yes I mean, let's get this journey <laughs> in that closet. Let's let that closet be the game changer for your mind. Let's transform the, and renew your mind through your closet. And I'm going to show you how to do that when you book CRJ Services Incorporated. Okay, there you go. There you go. But can we give yes. them a little taste? What would be your suggestion uh, for someone like me? I got this 20 pound range I deal with. Uh-huh. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I'm either up or down. It is usually uh-huh. within this 20 pound range. And so my clothes in my closet are pretty much in between. I got threes and I got eights and I got uh-huh. sevens and I got fives. Uh-huh. And so it's mm-hmm. like some of my pieces are old, like, and I mm-hmm. think I made them vintage. I still got a leather jacket from high school. Um, like, and that's, <laughs> I that's love that style, jacket. So keep it. Exactly. I <laughs> love my jacket. Style, so yeah, <laughs> but well, what would you suggest okay. I do with somebody that goes mm-hmm. up and down? But I like sure. color. I like I like pop pieces. If I'm wearing sure. all black, my shoe isn't going to be black. It might be red. Right. It might be white mm-hmm. and black. It might be something mm-hmm. else. But what would you suggest I do for someone that's up and down in, in weight? Um, you know, how would I be comfortable in the summer? What do you suggest? Absolutely. So to be comfortable in the summer is just comfortable and cute. Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable, <laughs> cute, and, and cozy, right? Okay. You, know, you want to be cozy, right? Yeah, so, the feet can't the, hurt. Right, yeah, the main <laughs> thing is what kind of style do you want to go for? Do you like the athletic look? Do you like the shabby chic? Do you like the classic? I just want to know a little bit about what you like. Because you I like a little classic, a little trendy. Um, okay. People tell me I have like a sporty type of dress. I don't think so. Uh-huh. <laughs> I wear all type of dresses and skirts. Get out of here. But, right, <laughs> but, right. But I do like to take like I'll do a white shirt with a ripped jean and like a fedora and some Gucci Absolutely. pumps in a bag or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Those, those are basic things that everybody's having in their closet. A white shirt, jeans, <laughs> a black jacket, 
Um, mm-hmm. Nice new pair of pumps because new goes with everything. Everything. Um, right, right now, what's trending really good is the, the plastic shoes. I don't care anybody says those clear shoes are trending. They are what everybody is wearing and give you a, mm-hmm. a pair of them. They go with everything you put on. But keep yes. the basics in there. I wouldn't say get rid of everything in your closet, but just decide what what size makes you more comfortable. Where do you Amen. feel the most fit? You know, do you feel more fit in your five? Do you feel more fit in your nine? Do you feel more fit in your three? Where do you fit? feel more fit? Where you yeah. feel more fit, let's focus there. So that, okay. right? I feel fit in this area, so I'm going to focus here. So I feel, I fit, I focus. So I feel good here. This is the fit. I'm going to focus. And that's what we lean on. So if that five is your middle mark, then we're going to look at more of your five to organize mm-hmm. and create a style around your five. Your threes, you probably I'll say, hey, sis, do you want to be a three? Or are you good with it? No, I don't think I'm going back to a three. Okay, we're going to put that in the light pile. We'll give that away, right? <laughs> You're right. I can't One do thing, nothing right? with it. <laughs> you can't do nothing with it. We're going to give that away. And CC <laughs> closing, which is a, a resale boutique that I have, what uh, I would do with that is every month, um, I give 15% of the proceeds to a school that has um, a delinquent put in lunch account. I can I can't fathom the fact that students can't eat because they have a delinquent account and yeah. they're there at their school. So fifteen mm-hmm. percent of all those proceeds will go to a school in the local area so I can help support our youth. That's and just beautiful. give back because I'm I'm all about giving back. But That's really it's beautiful. a matter of looking at that feel fit and that focus. And we will figure out which size makes you comfortable and everything that we do will be around that size. And if you feel Aww. like you want to keep your nine, you can keep your nine, but I would tell you, if you look at me in my eye and tell me you feel fit in your five, just let's work on the five. You know, mm-hmm. let's stay in that five. If it needs to be a dietary change or if it needs to be a workout regime, or because a lot of times it's really just about what we eat. And it's not you got to just go straight vegan or vegetarian. That's not what that's not what I want to preach today. <laughs> I'm talking about portion control. Like you don't mm-hmm. need two fish fillet sandwiches from McDonald's. You Absolutely. don't need a Chick Fil A sandwich with extra cheese and a large fry and a large drink. Go ahead and get the regular fry to come with the meal and stop paying the upcharge and save yourself some money. So it's okay. Just things like that that we can do differently from a portion control to control the size that we really want to be, if that's an issue for you. Because let me tell you, honey, bumps is beautiful, okay? <laughs> Embrace the curve. <laughs> Nobody wants a stick. I don't, I don't know a man or woman that wants a stick. You know, you want to okay. have something to squeeze and hold on to. So it's okay, <laughs> ladies, to have I'm something inspired. to hold on to and to squeeze and to. Men, it's okay to have something to hold on to and squeeze and to so you know you're not sleeping with a board. You know, so okay. I, we we talk about that. Yeah, really we're having that. So it's a, it's a very holistic <laughs> approach, um, and we just really get in tune with each other doing that assessment. Mm-hmm. Honey, you have encouraged and inspired me to, <laughs> to go through my closet with the with a focus. Okay, no, we not going back yes. down to the three, but we ain't trying to be up there with the eights and the nines either. Right. Let's get our body together so we can look cute. And I love the sheer shirt, honey. And so right. <laughs> sheer shirts look much better when that body is a little bit snatched. I will. I will admit. Girl, but let me tell you, honey, I, I, my, my daughter, uh, Jacqueline, honey, she is well endowed, and she looks bad in a sheer shirt. We put that tight little cameo underneath, honey, and she uh-huh. was that beautiful. So I know, that's right. It's all about the confidence you have in what you put on. You can put on a rag and work the <laughs> rag, and nobody even knows it's a rag but you. You know because like, it's so cute, I, right? Because it's so cute in how you work it. It's about the person that's in it. Not the mm-hmm. item that's on you. You know, you don't, the item don't make you. You make the item. Absolutely. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter what you wear. It's how you wear it. That's what makes it. You know, clothes don't control me. I control the clothes. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> okay, and when they yes. make you look astounding, <laughs> I am so happy to have you here with us, um, and that our listeners get a, a chance to really just tap back into their unspeakable joy in the matter yes. of fashion and organization. Um, and this is really wonderful. I wonder if you uh, might want to add on a dress for success component and maybe offer your services to. Um, some schools when they oh, do absolutely. like mock interviews or anything like All that. For it. All mm-hmm. for it, nine. And let, hit me up. Let me know if there's a partnership out there, someone looking for someone to help young women, young men, even um, I dress the men as well as children. I used to organize young children's closets. I've done that to really help them understand the importance of folding Where their clothes up. Exactly. Their socks and their underclothes and their shorts and their shirts. I've done that in assessment homes. And I say, hey, I could do the family. It's totally up to you. They're like, mm-hmm. no one got to help. And I actually follow up with the young children because I, I really love children. And I say, look, don't make me come over to that house and see that closet a mess. You know, and they say, no, Miss Tyrita, I got it. My shoes all lined up, you know. So Good. It's just basic things that I want to take that burden off of parents. I want to take that burden off of people, you know. So the mom, the busy mom, the busy dad, they don't have time to really look at all that. I got you. I can do that for you. I can help you navigate through that and make sure it's sustainable so you don't have to call me back. Now, if you want to call me back, you can call me back. But I really want to focus on sustainability. Self-sufficiency. So, yeah, okay. Self-sufficient. Right, right. Yes, ma'am. Amen to that. Amen to that. Um, yes. We are coming to the end of our show. We have a few more minutes here. And I want to give you the opportunity to let your listeners know exactly how to find you, um, yes. what platforms you're on. And this is where you just plug all your services and any projects you got coming up, any events yes. coming up. Let the world know right now. <laughs> all right. So you can find me on Instagram at CRJ Services Incorporated. That's C as in Charlie. R as in Robert, J as in Jacqueline, that's my children's name, uh, CRJ Services Incorporated on Instagram. And you can also follow me on Renee C at Instagram. Um, I will be launching soon my Facebook page, uh, CRJ Services Incorporated, so that's coming. And then you can also follow me on CC Closet, and that is the component where I was speaking about earlier, the resale boutique, where I'll be going live, selling clothing, and then 15% of those uh, donations or purchases mm-hmm. rather will go to our local schools to help with delinquent accounts. So all those flyers and those dates and times will be posted on my Facebook. So you got to follow me, CC's Closet on Facebook. You got to follow me on CRJ Services Incorporated on Instagram and Facebook. And then that way you can get the notification. I amazing items and Okay, it sounds like we're having some slight technical difficulties, but never fear. Yeah, she's she's yeah, she's still in there. Oh, she just dropped. She probably dialed back in. So you was closing out? No, not quite. I just wanted to give her some time to let the listeners know how they can reach all of her wonderful services. Yeah, yeah. I had a yeah, here one goes. last question. Here she is. She's right here. All right, praise God. I don't know what happened. It just went the, out. The devil <laughs> is a liar. That's, That's what right. happened. He gets no victory tonight. He gets no okay. victory tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so we were, um, you were mentioning um, your um, your event. How do you, excuse me, not your event. You were mentioning the 15% give back um, partnership before um, it went out. Would you like to pick up from there? Yeah, we uh, give 15% back to our local schools for student delinquent accounts. So it's important that you join the live and make some purchases so that we can continue to give back. I believe in the circle of life and the law of reciprocity. It is very important. And I want the blessings of God to continue to be bestowed upon my life and my Mm -hmm. business, as well as your life and your business. So whatever you do out there, no matter if you're an entrepreneur or if you're in the corporate world, 
please give, 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 whether it's through tithing and offering, whether it's through community, but give, and not just financial giving, but of your time, your time mm-hmm. is currency as well, and you do have to watch how you spend it. So it's important to just give back. Amen to that. Amen to that. Um, I really want to thank you for coming on and for being such an inspiration to our listeners and to me. Um, fashion. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Fashion is an area of life that intimidates some people. Um, yeah. People might have a full-blown nervous breakdown just trying to get an outfit, and mm-hmm. I definitely understand it. Um you know, just trying to coordinate, trying to, you know, look presentable um, and trying to also feel good about yourself as you um, gather your outfit. But to be and organized with all that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but to be organized. Now, were you always that person, though? I mean, really, this is my last question. I promise you. Yeah. Were you okay. always that neat person? And like even your dolls houses were even like <laughs> decorated. Like, were you always just that crafty person? Well, I wouldn't say crafty, but I've I've always been intentional. I've always been intentional about um, style. I've always been intentional about the way my family looks when they walk out the house. Um, Mm -hmm. I've always been intentional around um, communicating that to them, how important that is, you know, to feel good about what you're wearing and how how you look so that you you walk different and you talk different, you know. So I have been Mm -hmm. always that way, yes. Mm-hmm. Amen to that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that wraps it up for me. I was just curious. Like, are you born yeah. with these gifts? <laughs> Did the well, Lord you know, just well, touch you? Talents, and I, I, I definitely am blessed with this one. I love it. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen to that. Um, sister in Christ, what is your favorite scripture for the moment? What are you holding on to these oh, days? What I'm holding on to, honey, is no weapon formed against me. Yes. Prosper. Because Come the Bible on. says that it will form. come. Mm-hmm. However, it will not. I'm going to say it one more time. It will, it not, will not prosper. So in this season of transition for my life, um, as things you know don't look the way it used to look, I always remember that scripture that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I stand on that. Amen to that. Amen. Powerful scripture right there. Famous text. We should all be very familiar with it. And it's just as powerful as it is familiar. No weapon. N-O. That means nothing. Nothing. Anything. Not, Not a thing. Wrong. There you go. <laughs> it, it'll be all up in your face. You're going to right. think it's bothering you. Mm-hmm. But it really is not bothering you at all. You're choosing mm-hmm. to be bothered. So just hold on to Christ and his hold peace and, yes. and, and his holiness. Okay? <laughs> Amen, Amen to that. Amen. Okay. We're going to close out in prayer. So let's go ahead and take it to God. Heavenly Father, I'm so grateful this evening to have Sharita with us. She has mm-hmm. just inspired me and I'm sure she inspired our listeners today. Yeah. Um, Um, dressing and fashion is a topic that's just that goes beyond the the forefront it's an area that that's also deals with the mental um, stability within all of us um, and different levels of life that we want to achieve our entire uh, complements that goal so I just thank you Father God that you allowed this sister in Christ to use her gifts that you've blessed her with to bless others Mm -hmm. thank you Lord God for allowing her to be a service leader within the community thank you Father God for letting your angels come down and to keep her safe, to keep her family safe, to keep her intentions blessed and to allow her to make moves for the community. Thank you, Lord God, for always being faithful, for always being always, genuine, God. for always yes. being our God. Thank you, Lord God, for the, for forgiveness, for, for glory, for mercy. We thank you, Lord, for your consistency, and we ask in Jesus' name that you in only Jesus increase name. inside of us, that you find us worthy to process, that you find us yes. worthy to pour into, you find us worthy to lay a, a hand on others and to bring them to their potential. Thank you, Lord God, for this day and for our daily bread. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Sis, before we go off, I just want to say real quick, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you can know him today by A, accepting him and admitting that you're a sinner, B, believing that he was raised from the dead and he died for you, and C, confessing of your sins and confessing Christ in your life and you are saved. 
So if you yes, Lord. That today, if you are a sinner, say, Father, I am a sinner, and I ask you to come into my heart and forgive me today, and I will be forever changed. In Jesus' name, I pray you are saved. Amen. 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 Come on, bring the sheep. Come on, bring the sheep <laughs> yes, with honey. me. Yes, Lord. Come on, shepherd. <laughs> Come on, shepherd. She said, hold on, sis. <laughs> hold on. I said, preach, preacher. <laughs> <laughs> Come on bring with the bring, bring, <laughs> bring the sheep home, yes, my faithful, yes. loyal daughters. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Batman, Batman, do you have any final words for us? <laughs> yeah, I just want to say uh, for those that have lost um, loved ones this week, we know it's quite a few people that we know close to us. We know you got heavy hearts, yeah. but uh, the good news is they're with our Lord and Savior. <laughs> So that's the good news. Okay. Just right in a better place. All right. Well, we appreciate you, Mr. Rita, for joining us tonight on Late Night. Um, yes, giving, thank you so yeah, much. Inspiring people, man. People, Amen. we know there's a lot of, you know, negative news out there and bad news out there. The only way you can really overcome it is, that, is just go ahead and do what you was purposed to do. You know, get Amen. creative. Get creative. Right. Put their mind together and put something together on paper. And manifest yep. it, and you will be okay. Because we hear a lot, yes. but um, you don't want it to wear you down where it makes you sick. So uh, <laughs> that's how the enemy is working on us right now. So, you know, yeah. all right? No. So get in your space and do your thing. All right, and tune in yeah, here. Healthy. And don't forget to <laughs> tune in to Positive Power for, you know, for motivation and inspiration. That's what we're here for. That's our purpose, to to help inspire you, keep you moving forward. Amen. Amen. All right, Amen. ladies. Yeah. Stay. Well, thank you so much. Well, you, you got one more thing? And thank you. you well, more? I just wanted to tell the world, thank you for joining us. This has been Late Night with Jerry Royce Live and Kelly Holland. And never forget to tap back into your unspeakable joy. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Worldwide podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. Hello, my name is C, and I am recording artists from Rwanda in Africa. You're listening to the best internet radio station in the USA with Jerry Royce Live and Positive Power 21. We are one in Christ. We are one in Christ.